There is a push to update fire safety policies in cars after a new study found harmful flame retardants are present inside most vehicles. These chemicals include those known or suspected of causing cancer. Researchers with the Green Science Policy Institute and Duke University say manufacturers add the chemicals to seats and other parts of the car's interior based on outdated federal requirements. Now Consumer Reports is calling on the National Highway Safety Traffic Safety Administration to update its fire safety standards. Will Wallace is the Associate Director of Safety Policy for Consumer Reports and is joining us this morning via Zoom. Good morning, thanks for being with us. Good morning, glad to be here. So what exactly are we being exposed to and how inside our cars? These flame retardant chemicals, these are chemicals added to products to meet fire safety standards. Unfortunately, they've been found to be linked to cancer, to lower IQ in kids, and to reproductive harms over time. And as the scientific evidence has mounted of these harms, there have been changes to fire safety standards in other areas, like in your couch or other upholstered furniture, but not yet in cars. Huh. So First of all, is there any way to know if, if if our specific cars have this chemical? I mean, is it based on model, anything like that, or is it just all of them? Unfortunately, it seems to be all of them. These researchers did not look at model by model, and unfortunately, they found that these chemicals were present in all of the cars they looked at. Uh, okay, so is there anything that we can do right now to protect ourselves? Any changes that we make, you know, when we get into our car and sit on the seat, for example? I know. I mean, this is scary. It's um, and so what you can do is you can do whatever you can to get fresh air into your car. You can open your windows when you can. You can avoid recirculating the air when you can. And I know that's challenging, especially in Florida, where you have to use the AC a lot. But at the same time, re remember, this is something that accumulates over time. And so it's really important to know that this is a risk uh, and it's important for there to be changes in the fire safety standards. But also, um, you can take these small steps to help reduce your risk. Yeah, and, and I want to talk a little bit about the future in just a minute. So by kind of rolling down the windows, so kind of suggests then that this is maybe something that we're inhaling and not necessarily something that's being absorbed through our skin, you know, if we're kind of touching the seats or anything else that's on the interior. Yeah, these researchers looked primarily at what was in the air. They also took samples from the seat foam in your seats in your car. And that, that they identified that as the source of these chemicals going into the air where you can inhale them. And so, you know, unfortunately, it's just in the air if, um, if you don't get enough fresh air in particular into your car. And, and I just one more point, because this is just very interesting. I mean, this, it, what if you have a, a, an old car or a newer car? Does it, does it matter based on, you know, changes that have been made, you know, to um, uh, regulation, you know, over the years? Unfortunately, this regulation has not been meaningfully updated since 1971 when it was first put in place. So it's over 50 years old at this point. And all of the cars the researchers looked at were from 2015 and newer. And so unfortunately, this is an issue with new cars just as much as it would be with old cars. Well, so let's let's look long term and you, and you touched on this. What changes should companies make to, to really better protect us in terms of our health? So the auto manufacturer's hands are kind of tied here. We are calling on the auto manufacturers to do whatever they can to reduce the use of these chemicals in the car. But like I said, their hands are kind of tied by federal regulations. What we need is we need the Federal Department of Transportation to change its outdated rules. These rules are 50 years old and they haven't been meaningfully updated to reflect what we know now about these harmful chemicals. If there is a standard out there that can protect us from fire while also reducing our exposure to harmful chemicals, then that's what we need. And based on the updates that have happened already for some home products, like your couch, up other upholstered furniture, we think that's very possible. We think these standards can be updated, and that's what we're calling on the federal government to do. And for our viewers who are watching at home, Will, this really concerns them as well. Contact their local politicians, their, their, their you know, U.S. congressmen. Absolutely. This is something that any of your federal representatives should know about. And it's something where the Department of Transportation should get going right away. Because like we said, this there is an alternative there that probably will work. 
And so they need to start working right away to start fixing this problem. Really interesting, important information. Will Wallace, Associate Director of Safety Policy for Consumer Reports, joining us this morning. Thank you for your time. We appreciate you. Thank you.